Hello people, happy little friend here from Port Tresla, Microtech Planetary System, Stanton Star System. This is Star Citizen 3 17.2 and today I'm gonna do an investigation mission. Um, I already tried this mission like four times now I reckon. Always failed. Um, or for some bugs or because I get stuck. I always get these coat to arms, always get these. Um, yeah, or I get stuck in the cave in some uneven terrain or some 30 plus, uh, not 30k, but 30,000 even bugs and etc. etc. So, yeah, um, so I never, I never really completed it. But what I learned from my failure, uh, so the mission is like it pays 4,000 and you need to go to a, a cave in on microtech even if the uh, mission here says uh here it says or is accessed by a small ship or is accessed by foot go anyway with a small ship because uh it happened to me that i was i went there anyway with a, with a small ship but it was written that it was accessible by foot but i went there and it was actually a big hole into the ground and then I needed to access it with my ship. Welcome um, to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. I might be wrong, it might have been another passage but I didn't see any sincerely. And the whole uh, cave scenario is a little bit bare, there are a lot of bugs around. So for the 4000 I would say is not worth it but if you think in consideration mining, that's all another story mate. Um, so get your mining attachment because in cave you find a lot of rocks that they have adenite or uh, um, the other uh, precious um, adenite pays 270 each gem uh, or 250 I don't remember but anyway on the 250 each gem so that's pretty good um, and yeah so if you have a navy backpack and uh, an attachment for mining on your multi-tool you'd be laughing and while time you look for this you know, uh, disappear person um, what else did I learn um, I learned that uh, uh, the marker uh, the mission marker this uh, uh, this marker here this kind of rhomboid here is gonna disappear uh, so it's gonna disappear uh, like in about 5,000 meters from the um, actual target uh, so yeah, uh, keep your ship pointed to the to where you want to go to the cave, because if you lose that, uh, mm, there's no coming back from that. And uh, yeah, there is no marker for the missing person, so you gotta pretty much find it. Go uh, find an error. Let's see uh, how to find it. There is no. Uh, quantum travel marker at the location so oh jesus at the location so what happened is uh, you need to go to the closest spot which in this case will be this one and then uh, go slower from there uh, yeah for now it's everything and uh, you there at the cave and here we are again now you're gonna see in a uh, few seconds that this the marker the mission marker is gonna disappear and then I'm gonna show you how the entrance of the cave looks like at least if it's one of the cave that you need to get in with a ship what it looks like
one of those huge ones you see so this one yeah you need to get in with the ship all right i'm gonna speed up a little bit while i'm maneuvering inside the cave and i see you soon Welcome back. Um, so another little tips, uh, a little tip, sorry. Uh, though it's not verified, I need to verify this. I believe when you turn off completely your ship, uh, your EM signature reduces almost to zero. Look at the sky. And um, so what I usually do, uh, since uh, the only way that people can see this place apart uh, from knowing uh, from the closest quantum point where to go and for how long because there is no quantum marker on this location if i turn off completely the theory is if i turn off completely my ship is harder for them to find the cave instead if i have my shields on they can pinpoint just my ship from a distance and go like okay that's the cave instead if i'm in a place with the quantum uh, with the quantum markers um, quantum travel marker uh, what I do is I leave on the ship I turn off the engines and uh, I put my power uh, all on my shields because in that case there is already a marker on the location so people can get there easily and if you are uh, with bad intention you know anyway you know where is the ship, where it's gonna be a ship anyway. So better have it, even if though I don't think helps a lot even putting in because it's just like, it's a sitting like, sitting like a duck, as they say. Uh, but it gives you maybe uh, five or 10 seconds, I don't know, I would say maybe five seconds more, maybe. Uh, leaving your shields on though, when you get off your ship, gives you another advantage. That when you get off your ship, you, uh, from, for example, from the back, you're still protected by your shield. So it gives you a little bit, you know, a bubble where you are a little bit more protected. And that's all. So the, um, what the mission is usually is you go inside the cave don't worry about this because it becomes like that so pretty you, know, you go back and forth from this location um you go inside this cave you need to find these bodies sometimes there are flares like sign of uh, human habitation so look for those and sometimes not like this case seems uh, that there aren't you can grab all this stuff, there's not much worth it, it's like, uh, it's even poison, so like, I don't know what you want to do with that. I definitely, if I found a rock to mine, I'm gonna show you how. And, yeah, maybe this one? Yeah, definitely this one, it's a green one, it's not much valuable like the other one, but yeah. So what you do is, you turn on your mining device, click right right the mouse button for scanning the rock when the scanning is done it tells you okay this is this press the left mouse button and then scroll up to give more power and down to take off power you see the level power on the right of the uh, pistol um, screen is going up and down that's me with the scrolling and you see on the left there is that bar that is charging up and there is a at the top of the bar there is a red zone and then there is a green zone you want to keep the white line into the green zone to mine it and it's not doing much it's like i'm doing less of before
So yeah, that's how you mine. I'm gonna I wanna show you what happens when it's done. Um, Up now, so you can see how it is. Now it's going there. Okay. Way high, way fast. All right. Now you're gonna see the little bar going green. You see? When it's charging, the green is going up all this all the time. There you are. Ah. Okay, you wanna keep it on the green, not on the red. And that's all. That should be all. If there wasn't a bug. Ah, oh, okay. We did it. <laughs> I thought it was a bug. Uh, yeah, and then uh, what you do, you pick up your Dolovine this time. I don't know how much Dolovine is. I know the most valuable wine is purple and it's called... Um, uh, it's called... It's called... Adenite. Adenite. And then there is another one that is kind of purple but is kind of different and that's the uh, second value and this one is I think is the lowest value one but yeah they're not that heavy so you can store many of them and keep going like that and I'm gonna cut in here now that you know as well how to do that um, and I'm gonna get back to you when I found that body Actually, <laughs> that's why I didn't cut. <laughs> you were waiting for a cut or something. So if you see stuff like this, this is definitely human, right? Like, it's not human, but that's in, it is in the video game. This is like kind of access. So you see these kind of very well-made steps. So you go down one of these steps, right? And then you go like, ah, oh, but then I cannot get up anymore. If you see this yellow paint around, that's what you want to see, there is like, when you press bar, there is a little animation that for you to climb up. And since usually the bodies are down these places, it's a good idea to go down there. So, well, I'll see you soon. And welcome back. So this is what you want. You see this purple, purplish veiny rock and then on the scanner section of your mining tools, so the right section, this type of scanner section, at the very bottom, I never noticed, it says what mineral it is, adenite. There you go. Uh, and then the other dates, uh, the other uh, the other uh, data, I reckon, is one is the weight, and the other, the other I don't really know. But yeah, you got a name there. Purple veins, little rock like that. That's where you wanna go. And hopefully after this rock, I'm gonna find soon the uh, corpse, the body of the guy. Most likely he's dead. Uh, and yeah, I see you soon. So yeah. I think I'm gonna call it, I didn't find the body, it's more than an hour then looking around and like it's like, it's, this place is huge, it's impossible, uh, no indication of flare or anything, but on the plus, I got all these babies, so definitely if you wanna do this mission to make money, just with this mission, don't do it. If you want to use the, the mission as a marker for a cave, for then mine, and if you find the body, you know, he's a plus, that's I think is the way to go. But if you're poorly coming here just for find the body, just nah, that's not worth it. There's no indication at all where the body is. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so yeah, for the mining good, but for the mission not not so much. I use uh, the mission as a marker for the mining. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please uh, push the like button. Uh, if you want to help me out uh, to grow my channel, push the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I put up new videos, please push the notification button. This is Epito Friend. Have a good one.